Hello, first grade readers. Today we're gonna to start with something a little bit different because we wanna make sure, do you guys remember all those times that you would come out and read with me when I would pull you out of class or out of PE or music? Okay, so today we're gonna to practice on some nonsense words before we get to the book. And trust me, you want to read this book with me. It is, the illustrations in this book are so funny. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull up my sight words. Let's see, where did I put them? Okay, can everybody see this list of sight words? So Ms. Sunshine's gonna use her cursor to go in and look at a sight word and we're going to do the slide. So I'm just gonna point to the first sound in the word. So for example, let's start with t, t, a, s, and then we slide it all together, tuss. Let's do this one. We're gonna move over to this H word. A, n, pen. Okay, now you're gonna do this next one, ready? M, a, s, mus. This one, ready? D, e, v, div. And last but not least, reg. Okay, guys, let's see if we can do this next line. You are doing most of the sounds and the slides. Ready? Begin. So if you said has, ad, ven, las, and sis, you are right on track with these nonsense words. This time, could you do the sounds in your head and just say the word? Let's take a look at this next line. So if I just do the sounds in my head, Das. Now you are. So it would sound like this. Das. Ted. Gob. Din. Nom. Now, the thing I remember about a lot of my first grade friends is how sometimes they get a D that says D mixed up with a B that says B. So make sure that if you need to make your bed, B, E, D, that you are getting your B and your D sounds correct. Let's do one more line and then we're gonna get to our story. Ready, go. Okay, so it would be min, lin, sis, vic, ed. Now, if you want to pause the video and do the rest of the nonsense words all by yourself, I know you can do it. I think you'll be great at it. All right, let's move over to our story. Okay, so the title of our story today is called The Fly Flew In. We are going to read this as an echo read, which means Miss Sunshine will read a page and then you will come in and read that same page echoing it back to me. 
So the author of The Fly Flew In, his name is David Catrow. And the funniest part about this book are definitely the pictures. The illustrator, who I also think is David Catrow, has a very good sense of humor. He's a very funny guy. All right, so let's look at the cover, The Fly Flew In. And if you notice, our first page is a dedication page. And what a silly looking character this is already on our dedication page. So our dedication page reads, to the fly who has dedicated his tiny life to finding a way out. I kind of like that dedication, kind of makes me feel good. All right, let's take a look at our first page. Oh, again, the funniest pictures in this book. My turn first. The fly flew on. Your turn. The fly flew off. The fly got in line. Flick. The fly did a flip. And we've got some great words so far on these two pages that have this wonderful blend. Do you guys remember what a blend is where we have two letters side by side and when we blend the sound together, it comes out sounding nice and smooth. So on this page and in the title of this book, we have the FL blend full, full. Let's take a look at the next page. These pictures are cracking me up. Look at this lady on this page. I have to move out of the way so you can see her very strange mouth. <laughs> The fly flew in, out, and on. He landed on a lollipop. Yeah! The mom got rid of it. Oh, look at this picture. Is this character happy or sad about that lollipop getting thrown away? Very sad. Ready, your turn. The fly flew by. Get that fly! Bang! Get that fly! Boom! Oh dear. Oh boy. Get that fly! La la la! La! Get that fly! We know that those sentences are meant to be read with a lot of expression and a lot of feeling because we can see that exclamation point at the end. Oops. Oops. The fly flew out. Bye fly. I hope you enjoyed reading The Fly Flew In with me today. Keep practicing your nonsense words if you want to go back to the beginning of this video, and I will see you next time.